get out here in Babylon I want to get out of here but I didn't choose myself to do the work the Heavenly Father's the one that made me come out here Let, let's read that uh, is it Proverbs 24 I don't even know what scripture it is I gotta find it because people think that we come out here of our own free will you know you out there to be seen of men this that no you don't come out here and look I got Saturday off this time why would I want to be out here wasting my time with nobody living? Unless it had been that the Heavenly Father said, go out and curse out these people. Go and tell them what I said so they can, you know, so they can be judged or delivered. I, I definitely would come out here on my own. Look crazy out here, man. All right. Let's find it. Um. in the background simple ass wicked Jake nothing better to do than walk around put your hands in stupid signs you don't know nothing about bring a curses on your damn self Here it is. Proverbs 20, verse 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Right, you can't understand your own way. You don't even know you're driving out. You're nothing but robots, man. The Heavenly Father controls all this shit. You know, all this whole life. It's nothing but a movement. For the Most High's own pleasure. Everything is His for His own pleasure. He made the wicked be wicked. He made the righteous be righteous. You know? I mean, it, it, it's plain. I'm going to read it again. Proverbs 20, verse 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? You see? How can a man understand his own way? You don't. You can't understand your own way. And I want to find something else. Oh, uh, in a dream and a night vision. Yeah, here it is. More proof that you don't have free will. Check it out. Job 33, verse 14. For God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, and slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men, and sendeth their instruction. So at night when you sleep, the Lord tell you what to do. And next morning you get up and you act it out. You know? Even on a on a on a uh, on a sudden, you know, on a on the spur of the moment. At his own whim, he can have you do something totally different. Because he got spirits to do everything. You know? Heavenly Father said, out an evil spirit, the evil spirit go out and tell you to do something wicked, and you do it. You go out and he can send a righteous spirit to make you do something righteous. He can put a righteous spirit on a wicked person. He can put a righteous spirit on the wicked to make them bless you. You know? He can make the so-called white man save you, and then turn around and destroy the person next to you. That's the Heavenly Father. That's how he is, man. Read it again. Job 33 and 14. For God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. Right, the Most High speaks maybe in thunder. He might say it in your ear. You don't understand it, though. You don't perceive it, okay? In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men and slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instruction. What is instruction? It's words to go by. Whenever you buy a, a, a new device or something electronic, it's got instructions in it. Telling you how to put it together. Telling you how to work it. Same thing with the Heavenly Father. You put instructions in your ear while you're sleeping at night. Then he, uh, in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men and slumberings upon the bed, then he opened the ears of men and sent up their instructions that he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from man. So the Heavenly 
follow putting his instructions in your brain and tell you what to do. You walk around here being a, a harlot, the Heavenly Father sent evil spirits to make you be a harlot. You think you're doing it to, to get uh, welfare money and food stamps? No, evil spirits got you going off. They're the ones got you doing that. They're the ones got you at the club at night shaking your ass trying to um, get you a sugar daddy. The Heavenly Father is the one that sent the evil spirits on you to make you do that. How can we prove that? Let's prove it. Because the Heavenly Father is in control of the evil spirits as well as the good. Let's find out real quick. Because your, your will is not your will. You can't choose to make the Lord your personal savior. You got to choose you. You got to be of the elect. Let's get that though. Second Chronicles. We're going to read it. And I like to bring this out. I love bringing this out. Because it's just, I love crushing. As all, all the brothers love crushing the false doctrines of Babylon the Great. But the so-called white man with well, his foolishness. You can't choose shit. Okay? You ain't, in no, you ain't in no position to choose nothing. You're nothing but uh, dust and ashes. <laughs> Earth and ashes. That's it. You ain't got you ain't on no moral high ground. Like you running shit. Alright, this is Second Chronicles 18, verse 18. Again he said, Therefore, hear the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting upon his throne. And all the hosts of heaven standing on his right hand and on his left. Right hand symbolizing the right side. The left hand symbolizing the evil side or the wicked side. I saw the Lord sitting upon his throne. And all the hosts of heaven standing on his right hand and on his left. And the Lord said, Who shall entice Ahab, king of Israel, that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead? And one spake, saying, After this manner... And another sang after that manner. Then there came out his spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will entice him. And the Lord said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go out and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And the Lord said, Thou shalt entice him, and thou shalt also prevail. Go out and do even so. So right there, the Heavenly Father sitting on his throne in the heavens, showing you that the evil spirits up there in the heavens with the Heavenly Father. They ain't down there under the earth, killing people with pitchforks or stabbing them in their soul that don't never burn, but it's always burning. It don't make sense. Ain't no devil down there underneath the ground telling his demons to torture people. That's stupid. But anyway, the Heavenly Father sitting up in heaven, in his throne, in the heavens. All the spirits around him, evil and good. Evil on the left-hand side, the right is on the right-hand side. Total order. All right? The Heavenly Father said, who can I get to... Uh, Go and entice King Ahab to go and fight so he can die. And then one evil spirit said this, another evil spirit said that. And then a lying spirit came forth. We know it's an evil spirit, right? Because only evil spirits tell lies. You ain't got righteous spirits telling lies, okay? That's why the Heavenly Father got spirits to do this and do that. He send one and say, go do this, and they do it. He send another and say, go do that, and they do it. You know, that's the power of the Heavenly Father. Check on the camera. That's the power of the Heavenly Father, okay? So if you can understand that, so then the Heavenly Father sent forth the evil spirit to tell lies to Ahab to make him go out, to be a lying spirit in the mouth of his prophet. So it wasn't the evil spirit that told the lies. The evil spirit put the, put the, the, the lies in the mouth of those prophets, just like the Heavenly Father sent out Kremlin Dollar, T.D. Jakes, Joe Osteen, Benny Hinn, the preacher at your church, false prophet Israelite groups of Bach, uh, 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 elder, what's it, well, so-called Elder Rakar of the GOCC, you know, that dude, so-called comforter, you know, Nathan 7, Prophet 613, all them niggas is nothing but deceivers, and they got the lying spirits in their mouth, or the lying spirit put lies in their mouth to lie to the, to the two-thirds of the house of Israel to get them destroyed, you know, and as we said, the Heavenly Father's the one to control all the spirits, so you ain't running shit, okay, and to prove it even further that the Heavenly Father can send evil this goes to Samuel, I think it is. Real quick. Alright, check it out. First Samuel 16 verse 14. 
But the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. An evil spirit from who? But an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. And Saul's servant said unto him, Behold now, an evil spirit from God troubleth thee. There you go. So right there, you ain't, you ain't got no free will. The Heavenly Father's the one controlling all this. He the one controlling all this. Let's get something in the New Testament from it, about it. Whose will are you doing? Ain't no free will, so whose will are you doing? Let's see, um. Alright, um. Hold on. What do I want? Galatians. We're gonna get more on this, Timothy. Oh, you know what? This is uh, Ephesians. This is Ephesians 1, verse, we're going to start at 1. Paul, an apostle of Yahweh Shai, by the will of the Most High, to the saints, and the saints are Israelites, you don't believe it? Read Psalm 148, verse 13 and 14. To the saints, which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in the anointed Yahweh Shai. Grace be to you and peace from the Most High, our Father, and from the Lord, Yahweh Shai. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in the anointing, according as he had chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. See? Of his will. Not your will. You ain't choosing. Alright? According to the good pleasure of his will. It's the will of the Heavenly Father. Not your will. Real quick, let's go to John 15 and 16. John 15, verse 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go forth and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. So when you say I'm an ordained minister, ordained by the state, you're going off your line. All right? Because the Savior said, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and I ordained you. That's the only one that can ordain you to teach. You don't have to go to seminary school. All right? The Bible college. Everybody wants to go to you. Let's go to Jeremiah 1. Find out. Let's get another scripture on there. Your free will is shit. You don't have free will. Okay? If you think you do, you're going off. Jeremiah 1, verse 4. Four. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Behold, I formed thee in the before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. I chose you before you even came out. Alright? Just like it said in Ephesians. Before the foundation of the world, I had already decided who was gonna be prophets, who was gonna be the righteous, who was gonna be the wicked. Who's going to be saved? Who's going to be destroyed? No. Who's going to put on a blue shirt on a Tuesday? I decided all that. You know? The Heavenly Father's the one. If you think you're making your own mind up, it's him that's doing it. You're nothing but spiritual. We all robots, man. Like Barack Obama's a robot. You know? And it's funny how I go back. You know? Barack Obama is a puppet of the international bankers. The international bankers are puppets of, uh, of, of Satan. Satan is a puppet of the Heavenly Father. So on and so forth, man. Trick is on down.